Hey guys, Pit Master here. I'm here with Fonto and we're gonna talk about distance is king, guys. And every king has its own favorite distance, right? Like Stephen Wonderboy Thompson's distance is a lot different than say Damian Maya, right? Um, let's go with Glover Texera's distance is a lot different than Chuck Liddell's was, right? Everybody has their own favorite distance. And the person that can impose his will or impose his distance on his opponent will win 99.99999% of the time. A lot. A lot, a lot. Just like the song, all right? One of the best songs ever, a lot, a lot. You guys should check it out. Anyway, okay, now, my favorite distance, without a doubt, is the left hook distance. What is the left hook distance, you might ask? Let me show you right now. All right, now, I could be, I could be out here, right? I'm this far away, like jabbing distance, but I could make it right back to jab a hook. Huh. So I could be this far away. And that's hooking distance, okay? Not quite optimal though. Or I could be really close in my face, right? It could be this close. And that could be hooking distance, right? But to me, the true hooking distance is right here, okay? Now, you, you use the elbow, ball and socket joint, turn your arm at about a 90 degree angle, and about that far away is hooking distance. You wanna go for the chin, so if it's a little closer, that same angle will hit the back of their head or their ear, not as good, not as good. I wanna hit him in the chin, so it's a little farther. So right here, this would be optimal hooking distance. So if I did this hook right here, and then I, I went around in a circle, and it would go, it would create a radius again uh, around me, that's hooking distance, right? So this is my hooking distance. That's what I consider hooking distance, guys. Thanks for coming. Share this, like it. What else? Tag us. Tag us! Get it all over the place, all right? Thanks.